I am back, and I'm bringing you a hardcore team deathmatch. We're going to do some team camping, and we're going to do it here on hardcore. It's going to be me, Nick Too Quick, and Alex. I'm two of the guys from Camper Nation. We were playing with some other guys from Camper Nation, and they dropped off, and we came into this map. So I'm going to show you the best spot for camping on this map. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, this actually works if you play standard core as well. But this is for the hardcore fans out there that likes to play like to play hardcore. And we're playing against a clan. Look at this, me. I was expecting a lot more. Because it's only two of the guys from our clan. And then we have two randoms with us. So we're playing a whole team. So I was actually expecting them to be a little more organized. So when we first started off, Alex was the one saying, let's go ahead and take the shop. So let's get into the setup. The best setup as far as camping is. Now look, you got this hole that you come into. See how I dropped the IED there? And then we got the front door. Now what I'm going to do... I'm going to sit here. I'll get a lot of kills right here to start it off with. Alex is going to go up to the top floor. And Nick is actually going to go to the back behind them steps. And we're going to have this whole build, building secure. So I got the IED behind me. I'm not worried. Alex is guarding the store. And I'm just watching the front. I'm just trying to get a quick kill like that. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time here because, you know, they're doing call outs. They're a clan. And look at that. Oh, he almost got me. But I put him to sleep. Oh, look at that. He was raging. See that? And so now I got the IED there. Now I'm going to come back here. Now this takes some patience. Now this is the setup. IED to the left, IED to the right. Alex is literally right above me. That way he can watch the three ways to get in the top. You have that. They can climb up on that um, trailer and come through that front part. They can come through that back door and they can come through the left. Nick is guarding the back door. So Alex pretty much just has to worry about the top left and the top right. And so I'm basically in my position. And we're ready to dominate this. See, there go Nick. You can see his name there. When we get a SATCOM, you'll be able to see the players. And so what I like to do is I like to use this. Because you know in hardcore you die easy. I get behind that little slab that's sitting there. And so my biggest challenge is people sneaking in. Now I probably should be paying a little more attention to the door. But look, we started off hot. Three, two, one. And of course Nick hasn't gotten a kill yet. But he's in a perfect position for getting a kill. So look at that. They blew up my IED at the front. Also too, the reason I'm sitting right here. Um, I have amplified on. And if you don't know this, the sand is extremely loud. So if they come up to my left, I know. So I'm not even worried. So I really just have to watch the front door. And look at that. My ID put a kill in. Right. And, you know, so with the Amplified, they're not going to be able to sneak up through that door. I can hear them too well. So I really just have to worry about the front. You know. So anyway, let's get into a topic real quick. You know, I was just thinking about this. I was looking at some videos. And I look at some of the comments I get. And, you know, people say stuff like, oh, campers have ruined this COD. This COD is the worst COD ever. I wanted to share my opinions on what I think about Ghost, the game. You know, a lot of people are dogging Ghost. But what I've noticed, and this is whether it's been Black Ops 1, 2, Modern Warfare 3, there's always going to be people complaining. I don't know what people expect from a game. I like Ghosts. To me, it feels a lot like Modern Warfare 3. It doesn't feel like Black Ops. Black Ops was a game you could actually pub stomp people in, and there was a little different action with the guns. So this feels like, you know, of course, a Modern Warfare series. The only thing that happens is every time they come out with a game, it's like one or two things change. They usually come out with some maps. The DLCs will be remakes of the maps. Um, like on this one, the new features. You can lean and you can slide. Other than that, it doesn't feel much different. But let's address some of the complaints people are saying. Like, one of the number one complaints. Oh, look at this guy. See, that? that's me. I was slipping up in my job. I let him come in. I was too busy looking up there. But look, this is the good thing about playing with a team. I'm able to yell out to him. Look, they're upstairs. And let Alex know. And so look at that. So he's up there, but Alex is in that corner. And then I actually got a little hit marker and kind of helped him, but Alex was able to take him out. But anyway, so let's go into one of the complaints. You die too easy. Now, of course, the hardcore people, they're not complaining about this. People that play hardcore mode, they're used to dying the way you would in real life. If you actually got shot by a bullet, you don't get a whole clip dumped in you before you go down. One bullet, you're done. But people are complaining because in this game, it's about half a clip. Black Ops, it was a whole clip. When I would use the SMG, I would have to unload a whole clip in you if I was playing Thunder Mode. People were actually complaining that, you know, they're getting shot and they're not going down quick enough. Makes no sense. And look at that. So I got this IMS too. So I'm going to go ahead and put this at the front door here. So if anybody else wants to come through that front door, it can put them to sleep. See, I'm trying to lock this front down. And I'm going around this way because I don't want to shoot in front of that front door in case anybody's watching. Now I got the IMS to the front, so I'm not too worried about the front. Now I got to watch out for this back door at this point. <laughs> So anyway, let's get back onto the rant. So look at this guy. Sorry about that. He took Alex out, but he called it out and let me know he was coming. I was able to finish him off. And at this point, ah, uh, look at this. I uh, wanted to get that scavenger pack. Oh, there's a guy upstairs, so I'm calling out somehow. He snuck in, but he came up through that, that top part. 
but I'm not even worried. But I'm going to hide behind this because they can't come through the front. So right now, the only way they're going to kill me is like, ha, if they come that way. And that's a wrap. Don't come that way. So look, Nick is back up there. Alex is getting back in position. And watch this. This is what I'm going to do with the sentry gun. I'm going to put it right through here in case they try to come so I don't have to worry about watching my back. So at this point, you know, give me that scavenger pack. I got the IMS at the front door. I got the sentry gun at the back door. And that's a wrap. And we're doing callouts. We actually even have another random. He's doing callouts with us too. And so that's, you know, a great thing. So let's get back into the complaints of the game. So people are complaining that you died too quick. I think that's ridiculous. You know, people are complaining about campers. Now, every game I played, there were campers. When I played Modern Warfare 3, people would get up in the room with one way in, one way out, you know. And so people complain about IEDs, and I don't get that. There are two things that counter IEDs in this game, if you haven't realized. One, sit rep. If you have sit rep on and you get hit by an IED, you're an idiot because you can see it from a mile away. The other thing is um, you got that um, perk you can pick where you can actually withstand explosives. So you can run past an ID and survive. So there's a counter to it. So why are people complaining? Look at that. My sentry gun is putting in work. And so I don't get it. You get all these people complaining, but for every type of setup you have, there's a counter. You know, like, you know, even quick scopers. People get annoyed at them. But the thing I found is when people are using um, snipers, I do a lot of left to right running. Now look at that. My sentry gun still putting in work. And they keep trying to come through that back door. You think they would be someone would tell them, don't go that way. It's going to be night night time. Look at this sneaky move here. I did this because look. Oh, look at this. He ran right by me. He didn't even see me. Look. Ah, he's tried to come in and get my sentry gun. Look at this guy. Ah, there you go. Y'all got my sentry gun, but I got a helo pilot. Look at that. I was just hiding back here. And that would amplify come in handy. I noticed that my um, IMS had taken off. So look, I got the night night machine. At this point, I'm calling them out. Look at that. I'm not going to fail like a gameplay a couple gameplays ago. I'll tell you that now. So I'm doing a call out. I'm letting them know there's people inside that building. And I'm trying to get a good angle. See, there's two in that building. And look at him. He came outside. Why would you come outside? I have the night night machine. I'm going to put you to sleep. Look at this. Now, this was a mistake. I don't like doing these big circle rounds. But I want to get in a good position because you only have... I don't know the exact time you have with these things, but it's it's not a long time. I look, they're right underneath me. And that gets frustrating sometimes when I have the night-night machine. When they get right underneath me, I wish there was a dip-down quick button. So anyway, so they're shooting at me like it's going to help. And so look at that. I'm just putting them to sleep. How dare they shoot at me? Don't they know who I am? And see, right now, now I'm in a good position. Now, I wish I could have started right here. Because when I'm right here, I can see the whole map. Look at this. I can put them to sleep as they run out. And it's a, a night, night, night. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so look at that. I put a little work in with that. Besides doing that big turn, I'm getting better. I think early on, I was telling people in my videos, I'm going to start using um, higher score streaks because I was using those low score streaks just to show you how to camp and whatnot. Also, too, I want to point out to people because I get a lot of comments and hate from people. You got to realize, I don't camp every game. Now, you can ask anybody from the Camper Nation. Like, I've been playing with these guys, and this is why you should join the clan because I actually um, play with you guys. When you join the Camper Nation clan, I don't have to add you to my friend list. When I log in, I can just go in and see which Camper Nation members on and I send invites. I tend to send out five invites, so we have a party of six. And once we had a party of six, we start playing. And I'm often finding people are jumping in the game now. So it's a lot of Camper Nation versus Camper Nation. Now, the funny thing is when I'm playing with the Camper Nation, I don't camp. Because, you know, I know a lot of the guys, you know, their skill level may not be as high as mine. And we have different skill levels. So I want the guys whose skill levels are not as great. They go ahead and camp. Let them go ahead and perfect the technique. And what I do is I run around with a honey badger. I actually rush. I'm flanking them. And, you know, I'm finishing the game with pretty decent kills. So anybody from Camper Nation watching this, I mean, you can tell people I do. And don't get me wrong, not every single game I beast. But I, very rarely you're going to see me ever go negative. I mean, it, it doesn't happen that often. I'm usually having decent games, 25, 10, 20, and 6. You know, I'm, I, I play pretty decently. I actually believe my KD has been raising, rising because I've been playing with the Camper Nations. When I'm solo bolo, I got to camp. I don't have anyone to have my back, so I'll do a lot more camping. And sometimes I'll just be in a mood to troll. So I've been actually focusing on my game a little bit. So my KD's actually been going up just because, you know, I've been playing with the Camper Nation. So anyway, look at this. So we're dominated that. We were owning that building. The only reason I got put out the building is because um, I got the um, Helo Pilot. And so now we're pretty much channeling this game. There's a minute left. And look, we're playing against a clan. The score is 71 to 36 against a clan. Now, that that's amazing. Now, don't get me wrong. They could be a new clan. Who knows? I mean, it happens. I don't want to judge them. But I've noticed when I play clans in hardcore, a lot of times they're really organized. And they come through. And they come through hard. Is that a squad member? I got to take a lot of bullets. Now, remember, we're in hardcore mode. 
Oh, look at this guy. Did he just set an IED right next to me? <laughs> My teammate's trying to take me out. Oh, look at that. Because he distracted me and I looked at him, that threw me off position. Literally. But anyway, let's go ahead and finish this off a of beast. I hear a guy coming through here. Look at this guy right here. Look, I can hear my mile away. Night, night. And that's how you put someone to sleep. So all the people complaining about Call of Duty Go, shut up. It's a great game. A lot of people are on, enjoying the game and having fun. If you don't like the game, go play Grand Theft Auto or something else and stop complaining. All right, I'm out. Let's go. Join the Camper Nation. One word. Clan. I am out.